Good evening, everyone. My name is Jean Hernandez, and I'm the interim president of Pierce College Puyallup, and it's my pleasure to welcome you all to this wonderful evening of the student award ceremony. You're in for a great treat, because this is our evening to honor our student scholars and leaders. I also want to introduce to you our associated students of Pierce College Puyallup, President Garrett Bohm, who is also himself a great leader on our campus and has started so many wonderful initiatives to support our students. Garrett? Thanks, Jean. I uh, also wanted to, uh, before we begin tonight, I, I wanted to just thank uh, Fong and Erica from our student leadership team for ushering and greeting people today. Uh, I'd also like to thank all of the people who worked behind the scenes to put this event together. Before we begin our award ceremony, we also would like to acknowledge some of the individuals in our community who have provided such great support for our students and their achievements. First, I'd like to begin with our Board of Trustees. This is a group that is a policy governing body of five members who are community members and are appointed by the governor. They serve for five year terms and we are just really, really fortunate to have a Board of Trustees that is very engaged and supportive of student success on our campus. I'd like to acknowledge Mr. Brett Willis, who is right over here, one of our Board of Trustees members. Thank you for all of your support of our faculty, staff, and students. Absolutely. Next, we would like to thank our Pierce College Foundation Board. This volunteer board works tirelessly to raise funds to support academic excellence um, and educational access. Although they serve several purposes around student access, their primary role is raising funds for scholarships and emergency funds. We thank you for your support of Pierce College and the huge impact that you've had on students' lives. Could members of the Foundation Board please rise and be recognized? Another group that we're very, very proud of is our employees. Our employees make such an impact in the lives of our students in so many different ways. And I would like to just ask all of the employees of Pierce College Piala to please stand and be recognized. Thank you for all that you do for our students. Last but not least, we would like to acknowledge all of the parents, children, friends, and relatives here tonight who support today's award recipients day in and day out. No one is successful on their own. Our students stand on the shoulders of many individuals who have supported them. Would families and uh, family members and friends of students please stand so that we can acknowledge your wonderful support with a round of applause. Thank you so much. You make all the difference. Thank you for being here. So we'd like to start off our award ceremony by introducing you to a group of amazing students. And this is what we know as our All Washington Academic Team Award. The um, All Washington Academic Team is actually sponsored by Phi Theta Kappa, which is the Community College Honorary Society. This program honors and recognizes all of our state's most finest community technical college students and students who make up the all Washington academic team, reflect the diversity of the state, maintain high academic standards, and contribute positively to our community. Their stories are often inspiring. They also are sometimes surprising because of the barriers and challenges they have overcome and always reflective of the larger story of the state's community and technical college students. I'd like to begin by asking Brittany Henshi to please come forward. Brittany? So come on up and stand next to me, okay? Good, thank you. So Brittany will be completing her two-year degree and then transferring to a university. She will be the first person in her family to attend a university. Her career goal is to become a forensic psychiatrist and is currently earning her prerequisites to go to a four-year university to obtain her bachelor's in nursing. While completing her bachelor's in nursing, she plans to complete the prerequisites for medical school and take the MCAT, which is a very, very hard test, but I know she will score well. After she earns her medical degree, 
She will complete her four-year residency at an, in psychiatry at an accredited hospital and then a two-year fellowship in forensic psychiatry. Brittany is ambitious and motivated, and for these reasons and more, she was nominated as an all-Washington academic team scholar. Congratulations, Brittany. Our next All Washington Academic Team member is Jody Holloway. Jody, will you join me at the podium? There she comes. There you go. I know that little guy. Jody is majoring in construction management. What motivates Jody is providing for her son and being a positive role model in his life. Jody knows that Pierce College has been with her every step of the way in achieving her dreams. She commends the program she attends for allowing her the flexibility to care for her son during the day and attend classes in the evening. Jody's career goal is to use her degree to accompany her 17 years of professional experience in the residential and commercial industries as a construction manager. Please join me in congratulating Jody on her selection as a 2018 All Washington Academic Team member. Next, I'd like to invite Jordan Harmon. Jordan, are you here? There we go. Jordan is a Running Start student. After completing her degree at Piers, Jordan plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue a degree in biological and biomedical sciences. Her ultimate goal is to become a veterinarian and own her own clinic. She states that she would love to spend her life committed to curing and researching animal illnesses and providing care with the goal of making all animals' lives better. Jordan is very involved in her community as well as her high school, and she also serves in a leadership role as a student ambassador at Pierce College. Please join me in congratulating Jordan. Now I would like to invite Alisa, Alyssa Wilkins to the podium. She is our <laughs> she is our fourth All Washington Academic Team member. Alyssa plans to obtain her associate degree at Pierce College to fulfill her immediate goal of becoming a graphic designer. She's committed to academic excellence which she believes will naturally lead to her becoming an excellent worker in her chosen career. Alyssa is very involved in the community, volunteering in her neighborhood and her local church. She's looking forward to using her experiences at Pierce College and learned knowledge and skills in the workplace. Please join me in congratulating Alyssa. Please join me in congratulating all of our 2018 All Washington Academic Team members. I have no doubt that they will achieve great things. 
Now I'd like to introduce Maria Reyes, who is an advisor at the University of Washington, Tacoma. Maria will be presenting the UW Tacoma Next Step Scholarship Award. Maria. I am pleased to be here tonight at Pierce College Puyallup to present the 2018 Next Step Scholar Award. The Next Step Scholar Scholarship are among the University of Washington Tacoma's most pre prestigious awards. Applicants with a GPA of at least 3.5 are nominated by their community college presidents and selected by UW Tacoma's scholarship committee. The Next Step Scholarship Endowment provides significant support to community college transfer students for their junior and senior year and was created with the generosity of 30 donors in 1998. The value of the 2018 Next Step Scholarship is up to $12,000. Seven Next Step Scholars are selected for each year, one from each community college. I am proud to announce that the 2018 Next Step Scholar from Pierce College Puyallup is Brandy Berg. Brandy, can you please come up to the stage? Brandy is an excellent student who has maintained a GPA of a 3.86 grade point average. She is a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, a 2018 Pierce Foundation scholarship recipient, and is an active member of her community, volunteering yearly. Brandy became highly recommended by her Pierce College community. Her instructor, Todd McCallow, wrote in her recommendation letter, and I quote, she is very pleasant and caring. Brandy displays an appropriate level of self-confidence while maintaining respect for others. She demonstrates not only valuable and critical analytical thinking skills, but she is also an exhibit of a mature social awareness. Her determination makes me confident that she will be successful in her educational goals she has accomplished an excellent academic record while working full time in order to support her family while attending school. This is exactly the type of student that the scholarship was created for. Congratulations, Brandy, on her selection as a 2018 Next Step Scholar. And we at UW Tacoma are excited to have you as part of our community this autumn. Thank you. Thank you again, Maria, and also congratulations, Brandy. We're so proud of you. At this time, I would like to introduce Matt Campbell, who is our Pierce College Puyallup Vice President for Learning and Student Success, who will be introducing the Outstanding Student Awards. Thanks, Jean. Good evening. I am uh, proud and excited to be standing before you tonight to be able to help hand out the Outstanding uh, <clears throat> student awards for 2017-18. Each year the faculty in each area, uh, each programmatic area, come together to identify a student who is particularly deserving of recognition for their academic achievements. They've demonstrated that, that deservingness, that's, I don't know if that's a word, um, <clears throat> through uh, hard work, commitment to excellence, and the contributions that they've made to their campus community and to their fellow peers. I think it's also worth um, noting that a lot of these students have overcome other types of barriers to their success that we can't see, but we can still honor that, um, that challenge and that uh, um, uh, ability to overcome those barriers and achieve the academic success that they have creates that much more of a reason to celebrate their success. Um, so it's now our pleasure to recognize the outstanding students in the divisions of arts and humanities, business and social science, health and technology, natural sciences and mathematics, and the tr um, trans education, as well as from uh, uh, library and, and learning resources. So students, as we go through this, I think the same process occurs. You come up on the stage on this side. Uh, your faculty member will then pose with you with, uh, for the photo opportunity, and we'll go from there. Um, and also, before we begin, I want to remind you that this is a formal event and that we expect the highest level of decorum as we go through. <laughs> all right, okay, so that's, that's not true at all. What I, I think perhaps a better way for Pierce College Raiders to respond 
would be with uh, the highest level of celebratory outbursts. <laughs> and I'm going to be testing you as we go through the evening. So you're going to have to keep it up through the entirety of this ceremony. And you'll probably be tired by the end, but that's okay. We're at the evening. You'll go home, have a good night's sleep. So <clears throat> uh, with that, uh, the nominating faculty from Health and Technology Division uh, will now recognize the outstanding students from their areas. Um, I also want to apologize if there's any confusion if you're following along at home uh, in your program. It, uh, the division used to be called uh, Applied Technology and Allied Health Division. That's now the Health and Technology Division. So uh, the first uh, award is going to be... Is it Tiffany? Ah. I'm going to introduce faculty member Tiffany Mall to introduce the first award. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm here to announce Azure Wardell as our outstanding student. Azure is an amazing student that exemplifies professionalism, leadership, and a very high work ethic. Azure started at Pierce taking courses in the adult basic education program and then entered into the BTEC IBEST program where she then made the decision to go after the associate in office management. Azure has always excelled in all her coursework at Pierce and currently holds a GPA of 3.94. Currently, Azure is a work-study student assisting in the IBEST BTEC program, sharing her remarkable skills with new students in the very program she came from. We have no doubt Azure will go far with her office management degree, and I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see Azure again as a distinguished alum. I might also add, um, when Matt added that there's obstacles to overcome, Azure has done all of this with raising three small children. Um, and we had talked about her bringing them here tonight and we would make do to get her up here so we could award her. Um, but one of her obstacles is one of her children came down sick with strep throat and she found care for them so she could be here. This is just one of the many obstacles that our students um, overcome. And we know raising three small children is, no feat, is a feat in and of itself. <laughs> Congratulations, Azure. I'm one of the nursing faculty. Ashley May is the nursing department's 2018 Outstanding Student. For several reasons, she's been invested in her patients, her cohort, and her education for six very long, tough quarters. <laughs> the nice thing about the nursing program is that you get to see students in a cohort, so we literally have them in lecture, in clinical, in lab, or all three, every one of their six quarters. So you really get to know who they are. The interesting thing for me is Ashley's first two quarters, I really got to know her in lecture and lab. So I got to know how determined she was and how continuously positive she was and how much she smiled even through the tears. And believe me, in nursing school, there's a lot of tears <laughs> amongst the students and the faculty, <laughs> right? <laughs> The amazing thing is I actually didn't get to experience Ashley the nurse until last quarter, her fifth quarter. And I gotta tell you, I was amazed. Like it's, it's very different to go from being impressed with someone who is a student in class to seeing how caring and compassionate they are with their patients. I personally saw her last quarter in this quarter. Don't cry, you made me cry. <laughs> catch medication errors that other doctors and nurses didn't catch. She, I'm 100% positive, saved the life of an 80-year-old man that she caught his appendicitis that he needed to go to emergency surgery for, but again, no one caught. You are the one who What's also impressive, though, with her is her commitment to her cohort. So besides what I said about her always smiling, always being willing to help. She's been, I feel like, a natural leader. If you haven't, go upstairs in our department and look at the nursing bulletin board that's across the hall from our offices. 
She spearheaded that, and that bulletin board is amazing. She also pretty much organized, designed, and did everything for the Pierce College nursing sweatshirts and jackets that you will see students and faculty wearing. So it's not just her dedication and her hard work for school and her grades, not to mention mother of two kids, but also her commitment to the department and us and her cohort. I've been in healthcare for 22 years, which makes me feel very old. <laughs> But I gotta say, she's one of the most amazing nurses I've ever worked with and ever seen. And I think, and she has discovered recently that she potentially is gonna be a baby nurse, and I gotta say that those babies and moms are pretty lucky. So, congratulations. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, I'm back. I told you I was gonna be checking in on you. That was actually pretty good. I was gonna have you all do another big round of applause, but that was, that was good applause, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy for where we're, we're at at the moment. Um, the next group we're going to have is through the Division of Arts and Humanities, and here to present the first award is me. So our uh, <laughs> faculty member who would normally present this award, Scott Eigner, unfortunately couldn't be with us tonight. So I'm gonna read what was written about this student and uh, present the word. So if you close your eyes and imagine me as Scott, then we'll get through this together. Um, the awardee is Sarah Griffin. Um, <clears throat> Sarah is a student who is dedicated and passionate about her pursuits of art, she is consistently striving to learn more and broaden her horizons and abilities. She has taken numerous courses in the art department and has been successful in her pursuits, in addition to exhibiting multiple times in the student exhibition. She has recently been admitted to a four-year program to continue her artistic endeavors. Congratulations. Next to present for English is faculty member Ellie Walker-Stromdale. Hello, I'm Ellie Walker-Stromdale, and this year's Outstanding Student in English is Paul Wynn. <laughs> So I was fortunate enough to have Paul in both my introduction to composition and my research and argumentation classes. What I find most profound about Paul is his expansive view of composition. For Paul, it's not just about writing essays, which he does very well, it's also about being able to turn those essays into something more. And in one case for Paul, that was a multimodal web page that creatively incorporated his very own survey and survey results, blog posts, outside and self-conducted research, images, audio, and external linking. <laughs> And it wasn't just the way he composes his projects that kept me interested. The topics he chose to explore were complicated and complex. He wrote on child soldiers in Africa for one assignment, and another, the semiotics of vernacular Asian architecture in the modern world. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> it was texts and topics like these that frequently inspired his fellow classmates to see composition in new and exciting ways and to push themselves even just a little bit harder. I think one of the toughest parts of composition is giving and receiving feedback, and Paul does both incredibly. In situations that are often fraught with anxiety and doubt, Paul brings an enthusiasm, compassion, and kindness that helps even the most wary students and teachers feel hopeful about their work. And for this reason, I was excited, but not the least bit surprised, when he became a tutor in write at the Writing Center. Over the past two years, Paul has been inspiring students across the campus to compose and compose thoughtfully. And for all these reasons, Paul has truly earned this award. and I'm here to give the award for the Outstanding Humanities Student of the Year, Blake Bierbach. 
So please come to the stage. So Allie just went way over her word limit, and I was limited to a certain number of words. I could say so much more about Blake, but I will, I'll try to stay within my, my assigned words. Um, Blake has taken, ready for this lineup, Blake has taken Humanities 106, which is Ethnic Thought and Culture, Humanities 109, which is the Harlem Renaissance, Humanities 209, which is the Civil Rights Movement, and now Humanities 204, which is American Pop Culture, along with Creative Writing. And I don't think it would be appropriate for me to say what grades he made, but I just will say, like, you can't get any better than what Blake does. So beyond amazing accomplishments in his lineup of classes, he demonstrates what is the best of the humanities in all of us and what we who teach the humanities try to convey to our students. And that is, he's developed a heightened awareness of the society around him and his place in it, the places of other people in that society, and now his responsibility to his community because of this heightened awareness. Over the quarters, I watched Blake evolve from an inquisitive but unsure and a little undisciplined student into a confident, dedicated, invested, devoted student, devoted student, both in and out of class. He has wrangled deeply with how systems of privilege operate in America, and he applies what he learns in his humanities classes to what he observes and experiences in the world around him. He's great at bringing up these topics in class, modeling for his classmates, that what we're learning in college isn't just within the classroom walls, but it applies broadly to the world around us. He's made exemplary progress in all the humanities classes, undoubtedly, but what makes Blake truly outstanding is the impressive scope of context in which he's able to apply what he's learned. I'm just more and more impressed with him all the time. I know that he's going to use his status as a true scholar of the humanities to make a profound and positive change in the world around him when he leaves Pierce. For he truly understands how much we need forces of good like him in our world, especially in these days. For all these reasons, Blake is the Outstanding Humanities Student of the Year. My name is Katrina Winsler, and I'm here to present the Outstanding um, Philosophy Student Award to Jesse Kokar. Jesse has a true passion. <laughs> Jesse has true passion and deep respect for philosophy as an enterprise that roots itself into our lives and gets at the heart of our humanity, our shared curiosity for making sense of the meaning of our world and our existences. He has impacted his fellow students by his thoughtful comments in class, but his reflections have gone far beyond the walls of the Pierce classroom into the history of existentialist thought and beyond. Jesse challenges himself to confront personal goals to an impressive level and takes accountability in an inspirational and rare way, which is why he's very deserving of this award. All right, so I thought you were doing a great job, and I still think you are, but I surveyed some faculty backstage, and they want to hear you be really loud and, apl and applauding. So let's, let's do one. Let's congratulate everyone so far with everything you've got. Right? Oh. I got a lot of thumbs up for that one. All right. So the next group of uh, outstanding students to be recognized is from our Business and Social Sciences Division, and the first award is going to be uh, given by faculty member Linda Sorella. So not only are we talking about how much enthusiasm there is in the acknowledgments, we're also acknowledging the fact that our English professors have much more written than the rest of us. <laughs> I have the privilege of introducing 
two individuals who have identical merit. So we are acknowledging both Mary Crabtree and Angela Jenkerson as business outstanding students. Both have displayed an incredible commitment to their learning. Both students have earned 4.0s in their two years at Paris College. Not only do they take their learning incredibly um, to heart, they go the extra mile to ensure that their knowledge and their learning is above and beyond. They have a striving for excellence and they've developed a higher workplace professionalism as a result. But what really makes them outstanding is their willingness to assist their peers. They've offered countless hours assisting those in their classes, in their group work, to excel as well. So it's an honor and privilege to introduce the outstanding business students based on their work ethic, their team perspective, and their emotional intelligence, which will carry them far in life. Mary and Anne. I'm uh, John Lucas, but I'm here to present a couple of awards on behalf of Chris Vanison. And uh, the, um, the first award is for uh, Ms. Ciara Love for history. And so, Ciara, can you come up? And uh, Chris could not be here, but he wrote out a statement. And so, um, so these are here. So just imagine I'm Chris Vanison because it's in the first person. Uh, Ms. Ciara Love is a truly outstanding student of mine. She is maintaining a stellar record in classes taught by me. I am confident that she can do very well in any profession that requires superb analytical abilities and people skills. Young people like Ms. Ciara Love help me remain confident that the great future of our nation is guaranteed. And the next award also, um, uh, these are also uh, from Chris Vanison, and his words is for Hudson Link in Interdisciplinary Studies. <laughs> Mr. Hudson Link has been among my very best students since 2016. He is exceptionally diligent and industrious and dedicated to excelling in a career on the borderline between the social sciences and humanities. Hudson has an enormous potential to make a positive difference in the lives of many people. So congratulations, Hudson. My name is Tom McCullough, and it is my honor to present the Business and Social Sciences Mathematics Award to Tran Bowie. <laughs> Tran's academic achievements are truly impressive. She has maintained a 4.0 cumulative GPA at Pierce. She's taken 88 credits so far, including many challenging technical classes. I have the privilege of having Tran in my calculus class last spring, and it was a pleasure. She's a very, very hard worker, comes prepared to class all the time, and asks marvelous questions, very engaged. 
Congratulations. All right, so, um, so this time this is an award um, that I'm giving to uh, political, the best political, outstanding political science student of the year. And, um, and Christine made this great script of 38 pages, and everyone seems to be ignoring it, so I'm just gonna ignore it too. But, um, <laughs> but, but, but the, the outstanding political science award is to Dana Montevideo, so please come up. Um, Dad. And um, Dana, when she first took a political science class with me, I got the distinct impression that she was only taking it because it was um, a requirement, it was not an interest, <laughs> but, right? Anyway, so, um, but she definitely got the hang of it very quickly, and by the second class, she was giving presentations that basically she was schooling the people in that class, and in fact, she, she gave a presentation that I told her I want to steal parts of that one the, the next time I teach it. And uh, now, uh, and she also, um, her interest in current events also manifests herself. She was very active in the Trial Post and uh, wrote a lot of great stories for them. She is planning to continue her political science studies She's, uh, between, at either Ohio State, Case University, or the University of Washington. Wherever it is, she's gonna do terrific and I expect great things from her. So congratulations, Dan. <laughs> sociology faculty and the outstanding student for sociology goes to Diego Moss. So I've had the privilege of having Diego in three of my classes now and he's received a 4.0 in two, maybe a third one. We have to see after <laughs> yeah. this research paper. But um, Diego has been a ma an amazing student. Uh, uh, I love his critical thought. He's infectious in the classroom. He makes my job that much easier. Um, and I can't say that about every student. Um, so I thank you for that. Um, and Diego is going into law enforcement. And uh, more than the academic uh, piece aside, I just can't think of a better person to serve our community. And so I'm so proud of that. And I'm privileged to have gotten to know you the past couple of years, so congratulations. So we, before we move to our next division, um, we have what's called service learning on campus, which is where students get to interact with their community and do a variety of different types of projects that augment and build and round out and contribute to their overall learning and the development of them as a, as a full human being that's going to one day be, well not one, I guess they're already a member of our community and society, but to really enhance what that, what that looks like in terms of contribution. So our library and learning resources department uh, really facilitates that uh, service learning area and so we have an award that comes for service learning as well and here to present that is Lauren Crook. Hello, everybody. Um, I would like to call Annie Kuhn up to the stage, please. Annie, oops. <laughs> Annie has been the driving force behind the Rotary and Cl uh, Pierce College partnership this year. As president of the Rotaract Club, first ever, she focused her efforts on building community through service and leadership. Annie's creativity and maturity have helped her develop relationships on and off campus by attending service events, rotary meetings, developing a Pierce College club charter, and diverse student activities. 
In addition to creating opportunities to grow and serve her peers, Annie continues to excel in the classroom, boasting a 4.0 GPA and the ambition to transfer to Stanford to study clinical psychology. I find myself amazed at her compassion, humor, and initiative every time I see her. Annie, thank you so much. Thank you, Lauren. And now we're going to move to Natural Sciences Division. And to give the first award for chemistry is faculty member Ali Lambert. Thanks, Matt. My name is Ali, as you've heard. And I have the great honor to introduce you to our chemistry department outstanding student of the year, Carson Fries. Carson is fantastic. He's a genuine scientist, curious about the natural world, and driven to discover its secrets. He approaches problems with deep thought, creativity, and a great sense of humor. You can see his t-shirt right now. For the past five weeks, he has worked on an independent research project investing ways, investigating ways to break down plastics, or more technically, depolymerizing polyethylene terephthalate. He is the kind of student every teacher hopes for, not only because of his impressive academic achievements, hard work, and brilliance, but also because of his friendliness, sincerity, and genuine desire to learn. I know he will go great places. Good evening, my name is Tom Bush and I am in the Earth and Space Sciences and I'm here to present the Earth and Space Sciences Award tonight to Miss Mara Valdez. Come on up, Mara. <laughs> what words describe Mara Valdez? I have many and I'm not even an English faculty member. She is dedicated, industrious, observant, driven, tenacious, maybe even a little spunky, passionate. She's definitely in a passionate environmental steward. Don't let her catch you throwing gar uh, recycling in the garbage. <laughs> she is compassionate, caring, understanding, humorous. All these things come to mind. Mara started at Pierce College a couple of years ago, and when she took her first class from me, I quickly recognized her as a special student. She served as a volunteer lab assistant in the next quarter and then quickly became promoted to my primary lead lab assistant after only one quarter of being a lab assistant. She will be graduating this quarter and will be transferring to the University of Washington, Tacoma to continue her studies in the natural sciences there. I'm very pleased to congratulate Mara and thank you for all of your service to the department over the last year and a half. presenting the Outstanding Engineering Award to Rory Fortman. So, so Rory has taken all five engineering classes here at Pierce and she's done amazing in all of them. Always one of the top students in the class. Rory has a very calm, steady demeanor. Though when other students start freaking out about projects and finals, she's there to keep everyone calm and they'll, they'll get through it. And it, she, it helps her a lot because she works at the tutoring center as well. And even though she's very young, she already has one of the most important characteristics of an engineer, resourcefulness. The very first quarter, I told the class, like, you don't need the newest 14th edition of the book. Like, get the, the 13th, 12th, save some money. Rory came in with the first edition of the book. <laughs> Like, in the book, there were pictures of, like, cavemen engineering <laughs> the, the first wheel, but she still excelled even with the first edition. 
Uh, Rory plans to transfer to the University of Washington, major in aerospace engineering, and while also participating in the ROTC program. And I've no doubt, whatever she does, she'll be successful. She's an amazing student. Hi, I'm Tony Granada, and I'm here to present the Outstanding Math Student, or uh, the Outstanding Math Student Award in the Science, Engineering, and Mathematics track uh, to Ian Sinner. And I, I think it suffices to say that in, in my 25 years of teaching here at Pierce College Puyallup, I don't think I've had a student as strong as Ian. Uh, the amount of work he does outside of class is amazing. He literally does every single problem that I recommend students try. He comes by my office almost every day and we talk about the problems that we're looking at and uh, his grades are outstanding. He's helpful in the classroom. I had him in the calculus sequence last year and I'm ha I have him in differential equations now and it's, ab it's an absolute joy to have you in class Ian. I'm really, uh, I, I wish you the best success wherever you go after here. Thank you. Yeah. I would also like to read um, my colleague, Larry Wiseman, who I believe you have for linear algebra, also wanted me to say some things about you. And uh, he says, several math teachers who had Ian in one of their classes agreed that he is an extremely dedicated and impressive student. One teacher even saying he considers Ian to be the best student he's ever had. That's, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> in the linear algebra class he had with me, Ian showed excellent understanding and ability, asked lots of great questions that got deeper into the material, and he gave an especially outstanding dynamic presentation on probabilistic aspects of active protection systems for a project involving applications of linear algebra. I teach linear algebra, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Ian is working toward a career in mechanical engineering. He has told me he wants to work on projects that really matter and consequently put pressure on him and the team he's working with to do it really well. With his drive and ability, Ian will be a great asset to such teams and projects. And I agree with everything that my colleague said right here. So congratulations, Thank Ian. You. Hello, uh, I'm Philip Forkner, and I'm delighted to present the Outstanding Student Award in Physics to Elizabeth Miller. Uh, Elizabeth is one of those students who just works and works and works. Every time I see her, she's working. Uh, she does all the work that is assigned. She does work that wasn't assigned. I suspect she's even working in her dreams, which is what makes her a dream student. Super intelligent, always thoughtful. Her papers are the easiest to grade because they're 110%. You can tell she takes great pride in her work and she always goes beyond the grade. Simply put, Elizabeth is outstanding. kind of is the bridge to our next division, which is transitional education. So we provide uh, opportunities for students who want to complete their high school diploma or learn English or a variety of other basic skills that they learn. And so here to present the first award is Carl Fredericks. Hi, everybody. I am here to give the award to Jennifer Ivey. So just a couple of things about uh, Jennifer. She was an excellent student that I'm very fortunate enough to have had in two of my classes. 
in the same quarter, too. Um, she came into the program a little bit unsure of her abilities to, to write, even to write paragraphs. Um, but by the end of the quarter, Jennifer was writing excellent and very well thought out essays. Yeah. You were always, or she was always, it's, it's hard to say she when she's sitting right there, you know? <laughs> uh, Jennifer was always dedicated to her learning, even though she had a terrible commute before and after classes. And that, I, I wow, good on you for, for doing that. Um, Jennifer consistently thought about her future, and she's both highly motivated and goal-oriented towards her academic success and beyond. And um, my co-professor, Nancy Maltrich, also, when we, when we got the announcement for, or rather the email for a student to nominate, the first name that we both thought of was Jennifer Ivey here. So congratulations. <laughs> Teresa Knoll, and I'm one of the ESL instructors here at uh, Pierce. And tonight we're giving our ESL award to Annabelle Wola. Come on up, Annabelle. <laughs> Annabelle is from the Democratic Republic of Congo. She's been in the United States for just a short time. Um, she started in our program in September. And in the three months that she's been in our classes, she has not missed a single day. Our class meets for three hours a day, four days a week. So it's no small feat to be there every day. She also relies on her family and the bus for transportation. So getting to and from school is not as easy for her as it is for some other people. When she started, she spoke very little English, limited computer skills, she was the only student in our class who spoke her language, both her native language and French, so she didn't have anybody to translate for her. But this did not stop her from making friends very quickly. Um, let's see, she always does her homework. She does extra practice outside of class. She has learned English very quickly. When another student joined our class in January who also speaks French, she instantly became his translator, even though her English was still somewhat limited. Annabelle is a leader in our class. She helps her new classmates to learn how to use Canvas, learning to use Word and PowerPoint. Um, she's one of the top students in our class and she works very hard. Everyone loves her. When I explained to the class that she would be getting this award tonight, their response was perfect. <laughs> they agreed that she was the perfect person for this. She is hoping to one day go through our IBEST program to study nursing. So Annabelle, congratulations. Hello, I'm Heather Jang from the Reading Department, and the Reading Department recognizes Elizabeth Garcia as our outstanding student this year. <laughs> Elizabeth, I believe, had to work tonight. Her boss could not find coverage, um, but we're going to recognize her anyway because she deserves it. So Elizabeth is at heart an intellectual, even if she may not describe herself that way. College is about engaging with ideas, and Liz does this consistently especially when material is challenging. So careful reading there, I did not say even when material is challenging, but especially then. Liz also creates community in the classroom. She lifts others up through encouragement, humor, and her own level of participation. Thirdly, she focuses more on the learning than the points. She uses assignment grades as the feedback about her learning that they're meant to be, and revises to learn more which naturally results in higher grades. 
finally, she has found ways to put strategies that she's learned into action. By doing so, she has achieved her Pierce College adult diploma, meeting her goal to graduate high school the same year as her oldest child. She didn't want him to beat her. Uh, Pierce College is fortunate to have Elizabeth continuing on at the college on the social service mental health pathway with a 3.94 college level GPA. So congratulations to Liz and we will make sure that she gets this. I'd like to call Angelica Cruz Nelson up to the stage. <laughs> now, I don't believe I've had Angelica myself, so I'm presenting on behalf of uh, Christy Hofke. Hofke. Mm. <laughs> so I'm just going to be reading what she wrote here. Um, Angelica is an outstanding transitional student. She exudes the qualities every instructor desires of in their students. She's extremely hardworking, always on time, always offers ideas and suggestions when appropriate, and is genuine and focused in her goals with learning. I love having Angelica in class. I am confident she will be very successful in, at the next level. And that's, yeah. So congratulations. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So Pierce College also has a robust international education program whereby we invite students from around the world to come engage in education at Pierce College as well as to bring that international perspective to help globalize our curriculum. And here to present the Outstanding Student Award in International Education is Mary Melblock. Hello. I would like to have Fong Do come to the stage, please. As you can tell, she's quite popular in, at Pierce College Puyallup. Our international education department unanimously and nom nominated her as the International Student of the Year for Puyallup. And the reason why is um, Fong joined Pierce College from her native country of Vietnam in fall of 2017. She immediately acclimated herself into the, her new environment and set out to make a difference. Fong brings to Pierce a whole resume filled with meaningful volunteer activities. At Pierce, Sean Cook in Student Life says she's an outstanding, outstanding member of our club's board. In addition, uh, she has earned a perfect 4.0 in very difficult courses and is a student in the American Honors Program, and all of this in a second language. She has also, also made a big difference at Pierce, and we look forward to another year of watching her grow before her next step to a high-ranking university. Thank you, and congratulations to all of those students. So let's hear one more time what I'm talking about. I know your hands are getting red and your throat is hoarse, but at rounding applause. There we go. I was going to make you all sing the fight song, but then I realized I don't think we have one. I was just checking with our director of athletics, so we're going to have to work on that. Um, but here to present two awards for student athletes is our director of Pierce College Athletics, Duncan Stevenson. Thank you, sir. Thank you Matt. Tonight it's my distinct pleasure to introduce two young people who represent the very best in the term of student athlete. If I could have Caitlin Bransick and Quinn Landry come down, please. they 
walk down, I'll get started. Our female student athlete of the year for Pierce College Puyallup from the Raider women's soccer team is Caitlin Brancy. Caitlin came to Pierce College two years ago from Tahoma High School in Maple, Maple Falls. From day one, she stepped in the goal box and has been the Raiders' everyday goalie ever since. As the Raiders' keeper, the buck and the ball stopped with Caitlin. This past season, she ranked fifth in the Northwest Athletic Conference in saves with a total of 121. And just think about that. Every time someone kicks the ball towards the goal, Caitlin was the one that had to stop it. And I think she has a few bru bruises to, uh, to represent that. Although her team's just missed qualifying for the playoffs in both of her seasons, um, her anchor position in the defense helped the Raiders be a competitive force in the conference throughout both years. Caitlin's also a superstar in the classroom. She completed her associate's degree at the end of fall quarter, just taking the last six months off and just kind of relaxed. And she did so with an impressive 3.93 GPA, earning perfect 4.0s in her final two quarters. She was named to the Dean's List twice, the President's List twice, and she received the Northwest Athletic Conference Academic Leadership Award this past fall. Caitlin's been awarded the scholarship to continue her education and her college soccer career at Wayland Baptist University in Plainview, Texas, the high plains of West Texas. Go Pioneers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Raider Female Student Athlete of the Year for 1917-18, Caitlin Brancy. This is one of the few times I don't feel really tall standing next to the athletes because they're both so tall. Our male student athlete of the year, also from the Raiders soccer program, Quinn Landry. Quinn came to Pierce from Thomas Jefferson High School in Treader Way. Much like Caitlin, Quinn has been the anchor of the Raiders defense from his very first day on the pitch. He helped lead the Raiders to the Northwest Athletic Conference in both his freshman and sophomore seasons, with the team taking third place in the championships in 2016, the Raiders highest finish since 1995. Quinn has been widely recognized as one of the top defenders in the, in the Northwest Athletic Conference, earning West Region All-Star honors in both seasons. Quinn has been an outstanding leader both on and off the field. He was selected by his coaches and his teammates as the team captain this past season. He will complete his associate's degree at the end of this quarter, and he has also accepted the scholarship to continue his education and college soccer career this fall, right down the road in Olympia at the Evergreen State College. Go Gooey Ducks. Ladies and gentlemen, the Raider Male Student Athlete of the Year for 2017-18, or Mr. Quinn Landry. Raiders. Come on, let's hear it. Now, isn't that an amazing, what you've heard of all our students, isn't this just so impressive, their stories? It just it makes me feel really giddy. But anyway, I'm glad you're all here. So now we have our associated students of Pierce College Puyallup presenting their awards, and Garrett will be introducing those for you. Thank you, Garrett. Absolutely. Thank you, Jean. Okay, so each year the student leadership uh, team selects five winners uh, for five special awards. These awards include the Student Award for Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion, the Club of the Year for Advocacy, the Club of the Year for Engagement, and the Student Advocate Award, and last but not least, the Outstanding Faculty Award. I'd like to now introduce Suleiman Limamu, our ASPCP Student Advocacy Senator. Thank you, Jerome. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Suleiman Yassin Limam. Um, I have been given the honor to present the, present the Student Award for Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. Um, this award has been given to the Pierce College student who has shown a care for This award has been given to a Pierce College student who has shown a care for, to advocate for students of all cultures and traditions. This student has shown true love, passion, empowerment, for all students, her accountability and courage to stand up for equity and diversity can only be described by one word, outstanding. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Chantel Ross. Thank you, Suleiman. I would now like to introduce our op ASPCP's Operations Senator, Andrew Willett, who will be presenting the award for Club of the Year for Advocacy. Thank you, Garrett. It is my pleasure to be able to announce the Club of the Year Advocacy for the GSA. This particular club... This particular club has spent all year promoting inclusivity and awareness. Their events have gone above and beyond from planning out a successful carnival to their tabling techniques. It is due to their consistent outreach and desire to make Pierce College a better place that they are fantastic. <laughs> Now at this time, I'd like to welcome Suleiman back on stage to present the Club of the Year for Engagement Award. Thank you, Gary, again. Okay, now I'd like to talk about the Club of the Year for Engagement. Not only has this club brought great events and speakers to our campus, it has promoted cultural awareness, political awareness, and provided support for all students and community at large. It fosters a sense of community among students to promote equity and diversity on campus. They help establish an understanding of cultures and extend open arms to all faculty, staff of all ethnic backgrounds. And the club of the year goes to the Black Student Union. Thank you again, Suleiman. Now the next presenter is Justin Malepe, who is the Associated Students of Pierce College Puyallup Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Senator. He will be presenting the award for Student Advocate Award. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored to present this award to a faculty and staff member who has shown up and shown out in advocating for students. She has been a cornerstone in being an advisor for, for the Black Student Union and the Latino Student Union. She has advocated for students on all levels from students to administration. Her commitment to supporting students and pushing students to reach for their dreams is truly a blessing. Without further ado, the Student Advocate Award goes to Miss Vicki Howe Williams.
here to present the Outstanding Faculty Award is Esther Larson, our Associated Students of Pierce College Puyallup Vice President of Activities. Thank you, Garrett. I'd like to invite Stephanie Joy to the stage. This award goes to a faculty or staff member that has always given their best in serving students. This professor in particular has been known to encourage students to live healthy lifestyles inside and outside of the classroom. She truly is a beam of happiness and positivity on our campus. She has gone above and beyond her position to advocate for students of the college. I am honored to present the Outstanding, Outstanding Faculty Award to Stephanie Joy. It's my pleasure now to introduce Pierce College's Chancellor and CEO, Michelle Johnson. Dr. Johnson has served as Chancellor and CEO of the Pierce District for the last 13 years. Under her leadership, the district has received numerous distinguished awards, the most recently the Achieving the Dream Leah Meyer Austin Award in 2017, and recently the Pierce College Fort Stillicum being named in the top 10 for the Aspen Institute Award, with the award winner to be announced next year. Chancellor Johnson. Thank you. Good evening. Are you having a good time? Fantastic. You know, it really is an honor for me to be here this evening to speak to you um, on behalf of the entire Pierce College family. When I think about what it is that we do, we say that we are a mission-driven institution. That everything that we do is really around that mission. I'd like to share it with you. It's really quite simple to say, but it's much more difficult to actually achieve. We say that Pierce College creates quality educational opportunities for our diverse community of learners, that's all of you, to thrive in an evolving world. We take that responsibility seriously and we think about the ways in which you, our students, come to us to gain the skills to do just that, to thrive. Tonight you have heard countless stories of students who have persevered, who have families, we have children with us. They know that they have come from different places of the world. They each and every one have their own story. And together they come here and you've seen the interaction of our students with their faculty. You can feel the pride in the faculty and you can also feel this regard and support with the students. It's not fake. It happens right here in front of you. And we know the power of this relationship. I had the honor of being on the faculty for a number of years before moving into administration. And I know nothing has brought me more joy than the time that I have spent in the classroom. You've heard of our students who give in the community through community service. That's an important part of who we are. We're just not coming here to take classes, but it's what we do with it. We have a society that more than ever needs our students to be able to excel and to interact in a diverse and growing community. To think about the ways in which we can promote equity and inclusion. And you, the family and friends of our students, you play a significant role in this relationship. For you, we know that you have sacrificed as well as the students and that you have been there for them. We also know that a number of our students, actually more than 60% of our students who come to us, are the first in their families to go to college. And doing that, they, in their achievements, totally transform a family, which then in turn helps to transform our community. 
We're excited about the work that our students do, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's on an athletic field or court, whether it's in their service, and we have an incredible, and you've met a couple of them this evening, of our student leaders. I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge Garrett Bowen as the student body president and his team. They have done an incredible job of leading the students. They have taken on initiatives that are going to transform the future of this college. They aren't just looking at the time that they have spent here, but how can their presence during this period of time really change the trajectory of Pierce College and what it is that we're able to do. It is an amazing place to be. And the honors that we have received in, in huge part has to do with the incredible work of our faculty and our staff who are dedicated to the learning of our students. And it is a partnership with all of our students who come together to have this incredible um, change that's going on within Pierce College. With that, I want to thank Jean Hernandez. Dr. Hernandez has joined us just in, the, in February as an interim president, who she herself had served as a president of Edmonds Community College for six years. It's been fabulous to have her here and in her leadership role. And, and Matt Campbell, Dr. Campbell, you know, he's the kind of silly one who wants you to keep <laughs> applauding. Matt, he heard in the background here. You know, Matt is a great guy, and together they really care deeply about the work that goes on. So I know that for you it's been maybe a long evening, but I hope what you have heard, again, are really incredible individual stories of incredible students who are going to do incredible things. And in fact, they already are. And you've heard that tonight. Thank all of you for being here and for participating in our work. Brett Willis, as our trustee, you heard earlier, it's really important to have the leadership from that level. Maria from UW Tacoma, thank you for the commitment for our students who go on and you're able to support their next step in what it is that they do. It really is a community of learners and thank you for being part of it. And with that, I'm going to say congratulations to everyone. Maybe I'm going to ask for one more round of applause for every winner tonight. I want you, I, now wait a minute, I'm, I'm competing here, I'm competing here with Matt, okay? So I want you to try it one more time because I'm a little bit competitive because I am an old coach from Pierce College. And so I want you to outdo what you did when Matt asked you to cheer, okay? One, two, three, go! Woo! Thank you. I am a little bit competitive. And with that, do I turn it back over to Jean? Okay, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chancellor Johnson. So these are amazing stories, aren't they? And just we know that our world is in good hands because of the leadership and the scholarship that, happened, that happens on this campus and that we are able to impact our community. So please, one more round of applause. We're not done yet, right? <laughs> Congratulations to all the students and the faculty. Thank you. And we really, really appreciate you being a part of this event. Absolutely. Congratulations again to all of our outstanding Pierce College Puyallup students. This concludes our program. Please uh, join us for refreshments in the lobby uh, just out there. And you all have a great night. Thank you.